Hi guys, welcome back. In this section, we will be starting with data visualization using Tableau. Okay, so we have prepared our data, we have cleaned it and transformed it, and then loaded it into MongoDB. So now we can analyze the data from MongoDB using the Tableau reporting software. Okay, so now the first thing that we need to do is we need to import our data sources from MongoDB and we will use our system DNS that we have DSN that we have created to access the MongoDB database using the ODBC drivers. So let us head to that and open up Tableau. So you can either see it here or search for it. Okay, and then select it. Okay, so as you can see, I'm also using the trial version. Just continue trial. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to import our data sources, right? So let us select to a server, right? So we have the connect option to a server, select more. Okay, and then we are going to select other databases, ODBC. So we click on that. Okay, then you will be presented with this screen. And then we select our DSN that we created, which was called Mongo BI Connector. And then that should load the driver, which is the ODBC driver, the ANSI driver, and then select Connect. Okay, and now select sign in. Okay, so we have connected to our Mongo BI connector DSN. So then the next thing that we need to do is select the database and you'll find our Quake database has been loaded using our BI connector. So let's select that. Okay, and now the next thing that we need to do is select the tables. So you can see we have connected to our database. We select the search button and we can see our tables. So let's drag our predicted results table. And then select automatically update. So as you can see, we have managed to pull our data from MongoDB as a data source in Tableau, right? So here we have our data, which is our predicted results data frame. And now the next thing that we need to do is we need to create another data source so we add new data source and then we search for ODBC okay and then you will see our DSN will be loaded because we have selected it before select connect and then sign in and then select the database which is Quake click on search and now drag the Quake Freak um, collection or it is a table in this case and then automatically update okay so we managed to pull our Quake Freak table with our values okay so now if you select this database icon you can see now we have two data sources so now we need one more okay so we click on that and select new data source again search for ODBC we select others databases ODBC okay and select connect and then sign in 
then we select our quake database and then we drag our quakes table and then we select automatically update okay so now we have our quakes table right so now if we select this we can see we have all three of our tables loaded and now we are ready to use these tables as data sources so that will be it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one thank you